Today I am cleaning out our medicine cabinet and I am sharing with you what I stock in my medicine cabinet. And I will also so I can make the children's my time. Other than spring allergy medicine, I stock our medicine cabinet once a year. Using this strategy helps me to purchase purposefully according to our budget. It helps me to keep our medicine cabinet current. I know exactly what we have on hand, but most of all, it ensures that I am as prepared as possible for those nights of not feeling well. So I went through both the children's and adult medications and check the bottles for expiration labels and went ahead and pulled out everything that was expired as well as anything that was actually empty. These two piles here are the children's medication and adult medication. There are a couple of children's medications over here that um, will expire this year. I'm going to use a permanent marker to just put a um, put the expiration date on the box in big black numbers so that I will um, know to throw that out at the end of the year. Some of the containers were sticky, so I just went ahead and cleaned everything off with a baby wipe and separated the children's from the adult medications. I have some chapstick, some baby little rub, remedies, um, saline, um, nasal drops, one, one for the older adults. Um, vapor rub, I've already had to use this as well, um, but that comes in handy. And for those of you with smaller children or babies, there is a baby version of Vapor Rub that has um, natural ingredients. I used to use it on my boys when they were babies, and I really loved it. But now I think we can all just use the regular Vicks Vapor Rub Alka Seltzer. My father um, uh, thinks that Alka Seltzer can just knock out everything. So whenever he's not feeling well, he likes to. This um, is some Alka Seltzer chewable. Aspirin, that is for my father as well. Tylenol, I think um, I can probably use two uh, containers vapor of that. Rub. And I have this to go into the humidifier because um, we always end up using our humidifier. Back here, I have Alka Seltzer Plus um, liquid version, and this is Theraflu. My husband likes to use Theraflu. He's already used this, Severe Sinus and Cold Alka Seltzer Plus. And um, the Theraflu, he also likes to use. Um, and this is a cold and the flu, um, NyQuil, nighttime The thing about adults. cough medicine for kids, our pediatrician said that cough medicine is not a good idea. She said that cough medicine actually, because it suppresses the cough, it prevents um, children from getting the mucus up. So I have so I that keep just the children's nighttime cough and cold on hand. However, our pediatrician recommends um, a breathing treatment to actually help to break up the mucus and to get it out versus suppressing it. I um, also have some children's Benadryl um, in case we need it. Mucinex, I picked up some um, Children's uh, vitamins, these are Ninja Turtle vitamins. I have a pack of cough um, drops and I'm definitely going to get a couple more packs of those. And this is some music. Back here I also have Children's life. Pepto and Visine. And that is pretty much it. I have children's, two containers of children's Motrin and one container of children's Tylenol. However, I think I'm going to add a second container of children's Tylenol. Now what I'm going to do is add this medication with this medication and I'm going to just make a note that I want to pick up at least another bag of um, cough drops because there's six of us and those um, bags of cough drops don't have many cough drops in them. So I'm going to pick up another bag or, or two of those. and another container of Tylenol the next time I'm at the store. So I'm just gonna make a note of that and I should be finished. So I have my containers here. I kind of wiped them out. They're not perfectly clean and I'm not, you know, I'm not um, fussy about that, but I did wipe them out a bit and I'm going to 
um, place our children's medication in one and our adult medication in I the store other. our medication in our bathroom on that top shelf up there. It is an open shelf, but it is too high for my two younger children to reach. So, and it's also a pretty deep shelf. So what I do is I just slide the medication all the way to the back and it's up pretty high as well. Okay, so that is my medicine cabinet clean out and restocking process. Um, like I said before, I do this um, every year and I think that it is a very good practice. Um, and I, I actually go through this process well before we need most of these items. And as you saw, I, it gives me the opportunity to shop purposefully. It gives me the opportunity to purchase a medication when it is convenient versus when it is three in the morning. <laughs> it also gives me the opportunity to get rid of empty containers and expired medication. And it gives me an opportunity to refresh my mind on what we have and um, what we don't have. So um, like I said before, I think I will get some more cough drops as well as another bottle of children's Tylenol. But other than that, we are good to go. Hopefully you have picked up some beneficial tips throughout this video. I enjoy sharing these home management tips because when we can save money and save time, it just gives us more time. It frees up more time for us to enjoy life and spend time with our families and spend time doing the things that we enjoy. Here on Busy Being Mom, my passion is to inspire moms to be happy, to live full and love life. And many times it's the little things and the small practices in our everyday lives that help us to do that, to just free up some space in our mind, free up some time, um, put us at ease because we're prepared and it just helps us to just live a better life overall. So also if you are interested in learning more about me and my channel, definitely check out my introductory video that is always linked in the description box below. I also have video playlists for my mom's time out, self-care and mommy empowerment videos all about inspiring one another to live a happy, passionate life. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy, happy, blessed day. Check me out across social media, links in the description box. Have a happy, happy, blessed day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.